Hello friends, welcome back to Form Filling. Previously, we have covered Agile frameworks in brief. In this video, we are covering first framework that is Scrum. So let's get started. So Scrum is a framework aimed at sustaining strong collaboration between individuals working on complex products. It emphasizes adaptability and responsiveness to change, allowing team to incorporate new details or alternation as needed. The foundation of Scrum's Scrum lies in systematic interaction between three primary roles, Scrum Master, Product Owner and the Scrum Team. So as discussed, first role is Scrum Master acts as a central figure within the project, responsible for facilitating the Scrum process and removing any obstacle that may impede the team's progress. Their primary focus is on enabling the team to work efficiently and effectively. Second role is Product Owner, which is typically a customer or stakeholder. The product owner is actively engaged throughout the project, conveying the global vision of the product to the team. They provide timely feedback on the work completed during each sprint and prioritize the items in the product ba backlog based on business value. And third role is Scrum Team. Compromises cross-functional individuals who are collectively responsible for implementing the product. The team is self-organizing up to seven members, meaning they determine how best to accomplish their work and are accountable for delivering the product increment at the end of the each sprint. So next topic is sprints and artifacts. So in Agile, sprints are time box iterations or cycles in Agile development methodologies, typically lasting one to four weeks. Shorter duration offering increased predictability and flexibility. During each sprint, the Agile team works to deliver a potentially shippable product increment. Sprints provide a structured framework for development activities, allowing team to fo focus a specific set of tasks and goals within a defined period. Next is artifacts. Agile artifacts are tangible documents or materials created during the development process in Agile methodologies. The three main artifacts are product backlog, sprint backlog, and sprint burndown chart. So, Product Backlog acts as a single source of requirement for the project with item prioritized based on their importance to the product success. It evolves over time as the new insights are gained and priorities change. Second is Sprint Backlog contains the subset of items from the Product Backlog that the Scrum team has committed to delivering during the sprint. It is a living document that is updated as tasks are completed or new information emerges. Third is Sprint Bundown Chart provide visibility into the progress of the sprint by plotting the remaining work against time. It allows the scrim, scrum team and stakeholder to track the pace of work and make informed decisions to ensure the sprint goal is met on schedule. Next topic is scrum meetings. Scrum relies on a set of recurring meetings to facilitate communication, collaboration and progress tracking throughout the project lifecycle. Key meeting includes daily scrum that is called stand up sprint planning, sprint review, sprint retrospective. First daily scrum that is also known as stand up is a time box meeting lasting around 15 minutes. It is typically held at the same time and place each day to promote consistency and routine. During the daily scrum, each team members provide a brief update on their progress since the last meeting, discusses any challenges or impediments they are facing and collaborates with other to determine the best course of action for the day. Second Scrum meeting is Sprint Planning. Sprint Planning is a collaborative event involving the entire Scrum team, that is the Product Owner, Scrum Master and Development Team. Its purpose is to define the Sprint goal and select the product backlog items that will be worked on during the Sprint. This team answers two key questions, what work can be done in the Sprint? And second is how will the chosen work be accomplished? Sprint planning is a time boxed with duration capped at 8 hours for a 1 month sprint. Shorter sprint typically require less time for planning. Third scrum meeting is sprint review. Sprint review held at the end of each sprint. The sprint review is an informal meeting where the scrum team presents the complete work to stakeholders. It provides an opportunity for stakeholders to inspect the product increment and provide feedback which may influence future product development. Fourth Scrum meeting is Sprint Retrospective. Following the Sprint review, the Scrum team holds a retrospective meeting to reflect on Sprint process. They discuss what went well, what could be improved and how to implement changes in the next Sprint. Next topic is when to use Scrum. 
Scrum is well suited for long term complex projects where requirements may evolve over time and stakeholder feedback is crucial. It is particularly beneficial when the exact amount of work cannot be estimated accurately and the release date is flexible. Scrum prioritizes customer needs and emphasizes on time, on budget delivery, making it preferred choice for many organizations across various industries. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do share and subscribe.